Hello, I uh I've been really terribly sick um for the past couple of days. So I never thought that I would be able to do this video. Uh but uh just got to push myself because I promised one video a week. <clears throat> and I'm just down with very bad flu. Um for the past uh I think uh since Thursday. So today's Monday. Uh, I am not fully recovered yet. Um, but yeah, slowly and surely I'm getting there. Um, yeah, so, okay. Today, uh, forgive me, it will have to be a short one. But um, today I want to give you a, a real life example. I've done one uh, of them in my previous video. If you haven't taken a look, uh, taken a, a, a look, it's... Uh, uh, the case of Mr. A. So today, um, we will be looking at one more uh, of my clients who was actually looking to buy a particular property. And um, she missed the opportunity uh, to buy it. It was a resale condominium. Okay. So... Just let me share my screen here so that you can. So my client, um, she came to me. Um, I believe it was August, July or August of twenty twenty one. <clears throat> Excuse me, 2021. And she asked me if I have any units available at Queen's Peak, which was a condo um, around Commonwealth. Okay. Um, so I asked her, na uh, so naturally, of course, I was very curious. So I asked her, why is she particularly looking at this condo? So she said she missed one unit there. She uh, saw the unit twice. And on the third time when she wanted to offer, the unit was actually sold. Okay. So I did a study into the particular unit for her and uh, realized that hey, maybe she didn't really miss such a good deal after all. Okay. So I'm going to share with you how I, how I did that. And... Uh, Hopefully, you can apply this to wherever you are looking at in the future as well. Okay. The particular condo was called Queen's Peak. So, let's put that in. So, this particular unit, right, was very special because the unit number, I will always remember because the price is the same as the unit number. Okay, so back in 2021, here. So you see this? Yeah, so 2021, uh, sold at 811,000, okay, $1,884 per square feet. It was a small one beta. So uh, when she asked me to take a look at this, right, I look at this particular unit first because this is the one she missed, okay? So, I just did a simple dive into the units that were available and sold. And um, I realized that if she had bought, she might get herself stuck. Okay. Um, so I asked her, okay, after taking a look at the units that were available. So let me just fold down into the unit. One eleven. So 
holding down to right above. Okay. Okay. So when I saw this, right, the first question I asked her was that, do you intend to hold this unit for a longer period of time? Because you may need to hold it for a long period of time if you have bought in at 811k. She said, no, no. Um, why do you ask that? Uh, because I said, I realize it's one bedroom. It's 431 square feet. Uh, is that something you foresee yourself staying for you know, quite a long period of time? Because uh, the way I look at the prices for this particular uh, stack is that you may get yourself stuck for some period of time. It's not that it's bad buy. It's just that you may be able, you may not be able to get out so easily. Okay. So how I explained it to her. If you look at the price here that was transacted at uh, 0811, mm, very nice, right? The price transacted at 800, 811,000. But if you take a look at her neighbor's Above staying above her, okay. O nine one one, okay. Six hundred seventy eight thousand. One o one one six hundred eighty two. Eleven eleven six hundred and ninety two. All these are obviously the first time owners, okay. And she being the second time owner, I ask her, uh, if you bought in at eight hundred eleven thousand, how much would you expect to be selling it? So she was thinking, so I said, remember you have to factor in your agent fee, your um uh your lawyer's fee and all that. So she said, okay, la, maybe um I will look to be selling it at about 1.1 million. So I said, okay, if today you market this unit at 1.1 million, okay, your neighbors on the ninth floor saw that you're marketing it at 1.1 million. Do they need to come into the market and market at 1.1 million similarly to you? Actually, they don't have to. All they need to do is market. So you're eighth floor, right? So ninth floor. All they need to do is market at 920k. Okay. Significantly, um, 90k below your asking price, and they are on the ninth floor. So if today you are a buyer, then you switch yourself to the position of a buyer. If you are a buyer, you are looking in the market. You saw an 8th floor at 1.1 million and you saw a 9th floor at 920k. Okay, one is on the higher floor, cheaper. One is on the lower floor and more expensive. Generally, which one will you go? You will, will you gravitate towards? You will definitely go and take a look at the 9th floor one first, right? Okay, and now this is not just for the 9th floor, but for 10 and for 11 as well. So if you look at this, right? And if you want to sell at 1.1, and any of these neighbors above you enter and want to sell the market, want to sell when you want to sell, then you will have a you will have a problem with your hands because you will not be able to let go of your unit till they sell theirs first. Okay, so um, this was something which she she totally missed uh when she was looking uh, at this unit particularly. So um, yeah, I, I think this is something which is it it is it's very simple, but yet uh it's missed by a lot of people. Um, and I'm not saying of course every time that oh if you buy, o eight one one at eight hundred eleven k, you that's it you're dead you know um. It's not that. It's just that you, if today you are able to position yourself at a better entry point, why would you want to risk and position yourself at something which is higher risk? Okay. Uh, so this is just one of the few things that uh, I think buyers miss out when they are looking at units, particularly uh, in the resale market. Okay. So yeah. That's all I have for you today. It's a short one. Um, but this is something which you can think about and make use of the next time you are looking at a uh, resale condo itself. And I hope definitely that this has helped you. And I will see you on the next one. Hopefully by that time I'm fully recovered.